The Americans had gone into Italy by that time, and they were halfway up the boot. And uh, they had come up against the, America, the uh, German winter line, which was well prepared, and there was a line of mountains across there that's been historically, it's the, it's the, uh, they're the mountains that uh, always protected Rome from anybody coming up from the south. And uh, it was very well fortified by the Germans. They intended to hold it, hold it, hold the whole thing as long as possible to keep uh, keep us from getting too far north in Italy. And the Americans wanted to get into Casino. They had to get there because the highway went past Casino on its way to Rome, and Rome was the objective at that time, of course, and head north. The British tried, and they were thrown off, and the Americans tried, and they were thrown off. And then they whistled us in, but we were mountain troops prepared for that. And we found a back route up, our general did, and, uh, and we uh, moved up to what was known then as Mount Defensa. It was uh, a well-known mountain, I guess, through history. The word defensa must have something to do with, uh, you got to get past me before you can move north, you know. We couldn't possibly do it in daylight. We'd be all killed. So it had to be done in stages of two nights. So the first night we moved up through the trees to as far up as we could go and not be caught by the Germans. And then everybody lay down and slept all day. And uh, then, as soon as it got dark, we moved around through a route that we discovered that brought us up behind the German lines. And it was a steep mountain climb with rocks, with uh, ropes and, and so on. And the Germans never expected anybody to come up there, so they, they weren't prepared. So basically, we literally came in behind them before daylight and surprised them. So that's when the fight started up there. So there was four or five days of intense fighting.